newlydanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! This is a frequently asked question. Uh, the 12 of you that got this wrong, it will show up in your profile, so keep an eye out on the leaderboard. Next one. So this is mock test four. Um, I have made a mixture of uh, questions that have never been asked before and questions that have been asked before. I've, I've kind of made this a bit difficult, so don't feel too bad if... Um, you don't do too well in this, but let's see how you guys do. You've seen this before. All right, round of applause. Only seven people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. All right. Top five reshuffle. Andrew is the highest climber up 10 places. Great job. This is a new question. All right, so I can tell this is um, a weak spot. So Sankt Hans is actually, um, Sankt Hans happens on the 23rd of June. And it is one of the um, like days that's celebrated in Denmark. But it's actually um, John the Baptist's birthday, supposed to be John the Baptist's birthday. John the Baptist was one of the prophets from the Bible. <clears throat> Well, now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. If this shows up, then yeah, you know it. Okay, like I said, this is going to be a bit difficult. Don't feel bad. Um, it's just showing you your, uh, your weak spots, your knowledge gaps. Everything is going to show up in your profile and you can cover that out. All right, we're moving on to the next one. Yeah, so the parents get 52 weeks of um Olo and with Dalpen. I can see 20 people got this wrong, so this is definitely a weak spot. You can fix that on your profile. This um well, this is a very dynamic session. The top five keeps on reshuffling. Um, four players just hit an answer streak of three. Great job. All right, we're moving on to the next one. Yeah, maternity leave and paternity leave. I forgot. I forgot the English versions. All right, this is uh, <clears throat> very good. <laughs> but 
for the two people that got this wrong, this is a frequently asked question. So you definitely need to know the answer to this question. And um, if you haven't been here before, what I mean by frequently asked question is, it's a question that has shown up at least twice in all the previous tests from 2009. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, so we have Anna, Luca, Dracula, Ceci, and Sonia in the top five. Um, these are these are the usual suspects. Well, Anna, not so much. Let's see how long she lasts there. Three players have hit an answer streak of four. Excellent. Next one. This showed up in uh, one of the last two or three previous tests. So let's see how you guys do. All right, not bad. 17 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Plug your knowledge gap. Okay. Um, yeah, there's not much else I could say apart from that. Okay, so as predicted, Anna didn't actually last at the top, but she could come back. This was a combo breaker. Four players dropped an answer streak of five. Sorry, guys. I've seen this before. If you've been practicing, hopefully you all get this right. All right, round of applause. Uh, for the two people that got this wrong, Denmark joined the EU. Back in the day, it was called uh, the European Community in 1973. Now you know what you don't know. Dracula is now at number one. Luca, number two. Ceci, three. Manos, four. Sonia, five. 14 players have reached the answer streak of three. Great job. On to the next one. This is a new question. Right, so this is definitely a weak spot. Um, when I say new question, what I mean is it hasn't shown up in any previous test. So this this is a potential new question for the next test. And um, so for a party to become eligible, it has to get at least 20,000 signatures from the public. Um, there's not much else to be said about this. This is a weak spot. Let's see what it did to the top five. Right, so Dracula fell out of the top five. Luca is back at number one. Maria is now at number five. Sonia went up to number four. Nine players hit an answer streak of five. Great job. We still have 37 questions to go. Potential new question as well. Like I said, don't feel bad if you don't do too well in this. It's just pointing out your knowledge gaps. Okay, not too bad. Only 22 people got this wrong. Uh, well, it will show up on your profile if you got it wrong. Deepak is back with an answer streak of three and He's on fire! All right, moving on to the next one. OK, 
okay, so the structure reform happened in 2007 and the districts, I think there was about 270 or 71 districts, but they were reduced to 98 communes. And I can't remember the number of, I can't remember what they call the other thing, but there's, there's, there's uh, only five regions now. Um, <clears throat> like I said before, this is going to show a lot of you your weak spots, so don't feel bad about this, okay? All right, so, so Mano spell out of the top five. Three players hit an answer streak of four. Excellent. Okay, so we have Lucas, Sassy, Sonia, one, two, three, Trayan, four, and Steph at five. So we actually, these are the usual suspects. We've uh, seen these names a lot, and uh, they've been practicing a lot. The way to the way to pass this test is to practice, practice, practice. That's the way to pass the well, not the only way, but uh, you know one of the best ways. Counties, yes, Trayan, thanks. All right, so Henrik Pontopidan is the guy that wrote Luca Pair, and um, he won a Nobel Prize in Literature in 1917. This is a brand new, well, potential new question, never been asked before. So I'm not surprised that a lot of you got this wrong. And yes, it is chapter five. So all the literature, music, um, movies, all that is from chapter five, okay? All right, next one. You've seen this before. Okay, five people got this wrong. This is one of the frequently asked questions. You definitely need to know the answer to this. Round of applause to everyone else that got this right. <laughs> Static top five. Static top five. Okay, so now we have Ceci, Sonia, Trayan, Luca, and Manos. These guys are the elite players. I think Ceci is in top 10. Sonia is in top 10. Trayan is in top 10. I'm not, I'm not sure about Luca. Manos. When I say top 10, I mean top 10 overall since we started. So these guys are some serious elite players. Um, five players have reached an answer streak of four. Excellent. On to the next one. New test, um, new question. Uh-oh. This is also from chapter five. All right. So uh, if you haven't been practicing, then you haven't seen this. And that's why you didn't get this right. But not to fear, this goes into your profile and you can practice and clean this up. This is from chapter five. I highly recommend that you take all the quizzes in chapter five, read the book, Make some notes. A lot of new questions come from chapter five. All right, let's see how everyone else did. Okay, so this reshuffled the top five. Sassy, Luca, Manos, Dracula, Sonia. Tim is back with an answer streak of three and... Oh my, he's on fire! All right, next one. All right, round of applause.
So the queen always has to be a member of the church because um, she's the head of the church. And um, the queen is actually the only person that doesn't have religious freedom in the whole country. Next one. Static top five. Static top five. Grand Coop is making a, a comeback with three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. Wow. Okay, round of applause. score okay that's good manos jumped one spot to number two luca fell to number three everyone is holding this spot harry is back with an answer streak of three. Oh my he's on fire faq frequently asked question All right, round of applause. So this question is about the Kalmar Union between Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Sweden left sometime in, 15, in the 1500s, but Norway stayed until 1814. All right, so Sessi has the highest answer streak of 16. We're not at the halfway point yet. If not, uh, I'm guessing Sessie is a girl. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Sessie's on fire. She's on fire. All right, next one. New question. Uh-oh. Okay, so uh, Greenland left the EU in 1985. So I think it was November, wait, either November 2022 or May 2023, there was a question that asked whether or not Greenland was a member of the EU. And Greenland is not a member of the EU because Greenland left the EU in 1985. This is a new question. It reshuffled the top five. Um, Maria has a streak with 17 correct answers in a row. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. She's on fire. All right. Well done, Maria. On to the next one. New question. Uh-oh. Greenland is huge. Um, 20 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. Sonia fell out of the top five. This was a combo breaker. Four players dropped the answer streak of four. Sorry, guys. Next one. You've seen this before. All right, round of applause.
So the queen inherited the throne in 1972 after her dad died. And she's been sitting on the throne since then. She's been sitting for 51 years. Is it six? Anyways, my math is not mathing. But anyways, um, yeah, for the people that got this wrong, now you know what you don't know, plug that knowledge gap. It will show up on your profile. Five players reached an answer streak of six. Great job. Next one. New question. Uh-oh. Okay, I can see a lot of people misread this question. So the question is not about when um, homosexual couples were allowed to get married. It's a, it's about when homosexual couples were allowed were allowed to adopt children. And it's 2010, so earlier than um, they were actually allowed to get married. All right, so this is definitely um, this is definitely a combo breaker. Forty-four of you got this wrong. Sorry, guys. Let's see what it did to the top five. Okay, static top five. Static top five. Luca is on fire three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! We are almost at the halfway point now. Brand new question. Chapter five. No, is it? This is from chapter six, I think. Oh, wow. Round of applause. Yeah, the answers were the answers kind of gave it away. But anyways, um, thirteen people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. It will show up in your profile. So fix that up. We still have a static top five. Static top five. Deepak is making a comeback with three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire. We are almost at the halfway point now. You've definitely seen this before. I hope everyone gets this right. Well, almost everyone. Uh, this is a frequently asked question. So this is one of the questions you definitely need to know the answers to. Okay, static top five still. Static top five. Four players have reached an answer streak of four. Great job. We are at the halfway point now. Right, so Denmark lost a third of its territory when it lost the Second Slesvig War in 1864. Eight people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. All right. It's going to show up in your profile, so fix that. Later, that's your homework. PJ is making a comeback with three in a row. Oh, my! He's on fire! All right, next one. This is a frequently asked question. Not bad. 13 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. MASH is making a comeback with three in a row. Excellent. At the moment, we have Ceci, Dracula, Trey, Luca, and Maria. 
Well done to you guys. This is not an easy test. So I could see you guys have been putting in the work. Great job. Next one. Potential new question. Read the question slowly, read the answer slowly, and then go ahead and answer. Yes, so uh, one of the agreements in the Cancellor Girls Settlement was that the employers could not pay the employees less. And the agreement on the employee in the, the employee side was that they couldn't go on strike. All right, so more than half of you got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. It will show up as homework on your profile, so fix that. That's a weak spot. We have 59 days to the test, or is it 60? Can't remember. Um, someone is asking how can they see their profile? What name are you using? So Mercy, what name are you using in the codes? Okay, so we'll just go there and search for Mercy. So your profile you can find here. I'll send you the link. And we'll search for Mercy. There you are. So these are all the questions that you you failed, so you can clean this up, right? And after this session, it will show up here as well. You can clean that up. I hope that helped. All right, we're moving on. Uh, this was a combo break of 15 players dropped their answer streak of four. Next one. Oh, so it was science. So during the Enlightenment, science got more and more power from the church, um, or took more and more power from the church. So eight people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. It will show up in your profile. Static top five. Static top five. Nine players have reached an answer streak of six. Excellent. Okay, next one. Brand new question, potential new question. Right, so 1966, um, the pill was allowed to be sold in Denmark. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I feel I need to say something. You know, um, we have 60 days to the test. I can see there's a lot of weak people with weak spots, and that just tells me that you haven't been practicing. Okay, you can't. <sighs> the way to pass this test is to practice. You have to put in the work. If you don't put in the work, you're not going to pass. I don't know how else I could say that. Okay? Put in the work. Anyways, next one. Tough round. Five players lost their answer streak of six. So if this was the actual exam, you would have failed by now. This is the most frequently asked question, and I hope everyone gets this right.
Okay, not bad. Only four people. All right. Next one. Okay, so Trayan is now number one, Ceci number two, Dracula three, Lilia four, and Maria five. SAJ is back with an answer streak of three. Oh my! He's on fire! Okay. Um, what do I mean when I say put in the work? I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Go to nearlydanish.com. For infos that's porn, if you're taking infos that's porn, this is the book. Read this book and do all of these quizzes here. Okay. These are all the previous exams. I've broken them down since 2009. Okay, up, up till 2009. And then these are all the frequently asked questions. What do I mean by that? For instance, you just saw this. This is the most frequently asked question. So this question has the highest probability of showing up on the test. It's shown up in 12 tests since 2009. Do every, these quizzes, there's about 100 and something, 180 something questions in all four of them. You definitely need to know the answers to every single one of these questions because they might show up again. In fact, they have a high probability of showing up in the next test. Then um, chapter one to chapter six, do every single one of the quizzes, okay? So I've made a quiz for every subsection of every chapter. So this these quizzes cover the whole book, okay? Then Danish values. There's videos about Danish values. Have a look at these videos, right? Also, there's quizzes with all the Danish values that have shown up since they started adding Danish values to the tests. Make sure you cover all of these. And they're beginning to show up more than once as well. Okay? Now, I'm just I'm mapping out the work that you need to put in. Then, there is current affairs. Denmark's government, Denmark political parties and their leaders, and other current affairs, which I will be adding. So what do I mean by putting the work? Putting in the work means doing every single one of the quizzes you find here until you're scoring 80% or more on every single one of them. Okay? Read the book. The more you do the quizzes, the easier it is to read the book. The more you book, read the book, the easier the quizzes become. So it's a feedback loop. If you do that, you will pass the test. All right, moving on. Next one. Right. Someone is asking, where are the Kahoot players? In this coming week, I will be putting a whole new section here just for the Kahoots. One of them will link to the sessions. The other ones will link to the players. And another link, there'll be another link that's linking to all the previous sessions that we have, we've had. These sessions are recorded and posted on YouTube. So you can click on that link and go and watch the sessions that you missed. All right. Okay, September for Leo. Okay, so it's from 1899. Um, how many people got this wrong? 23. Now you know you don't know. Tran is holding number one. Luca back in the top five. Four plays it's an answer streak of nine. Excellent. All right, next one.
This is a brand new question. Potential new question. Okay, I can tell this is a weak spot. Almost half of you got this wrong. So Venstre and the Conservative People's Party have been in the Prime Minister post the longest out of all the parties. Uh, the Conservative People's Party has held the Prime Minister post one time, and that was Paul Schluter. He held it for, it was, I think, 10 or 11 years. And then Venture has held it periodically or sporadically. That's the right English word, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So for the people that got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. It will show up on your profile. Okay. Um, four players reached an answer streak of 10. Excellent. 15 questions to go. Okay, so this is a potential new question. So most of Danish literature from the Middle Ages was actually written in Latin, and that was because Latin was the language of the church back then. How many people got this wrong? 17 people, not bad. Dracula fell out of the top five. Maria moved up, and DA is now in the top five. Suad is back with an answer streak of three. Oh my! He's on fire! Trent is holding that number one spot. We have 14 questions to go. Potential new question as well. Uh oh! Kosovo. Um, almost half of you got this wrong. Hmm. Actually, more than half of you got this wrong. Well, another weak spot. Let's see what it did to the top five. Not much. Maria now on the podium at number three. Luca back at number five. Vladimir is back with an answer streak of three. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. You've seen this before. Right, so this is when the rules were changed and the government could not have a majority against it in parliament. Um, this happened in 1901. So this is one of the major things. I I'll try and organize a trip to um, the parliament, the parliament building in Copenhagen. And um, when you go in there, you'll see a whole bunch of dates that are very relevant for the test. How many people got this wrong? 18 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. On to the next one. Okay, so Maria fell out of the top five. Sorry. Eight players reached an answer streak of three. Excellent. At the moment, we have Trey and Ceci, Lilia. At number one, two, three, Luca, four, and Dracula back in the top five at five. I think all these people are in the top 15 of all time. Round of applause to you guys. Yeah. 
We are almost at the end of the history section. We've seen this before. Okay, this is a frequently asked question. I was hoping all of you would get this right, but round of applause. Okay, I can see that most of you are strong in the frequently asked questions and very weak in the potential new questions. And that's because you have not been practicing on the website. Okay, so practice on the website to plug those knowledge gaps so you have that covered as well in case these um, curveball questions start showing up in the next test. All right, next one. Luca fell out again. Maria is back. Krish is making a comeback with three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! By the way, Krish is also in the top 10 of all time. Well done, man. Excellent. Next one. This is the last history question. This is a frequently asked question as well. Hopefully, you all get this right. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, uh, some people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. There's a formula, four, four, five, okay? So every four years, there is a parliamentary election. Every four years, there's a regional and communal election. Usually happens in November. And every five years, there's a European parliament election, okay? Okay. Uh, right, we're moving to current affairs. At the moment, we have Trajan at number one, Ceci, number two, Lilia, three, Dracula, four, and Maria at five. OMO is making a comeback with three in a row, and she's on fire. She's on fire. Just as a side note, if you'd like to gather more points just to be a good sport, stay for Mel for the Melbourne Escape uh, Pawn Kahoot, so you can rise up the ranks if you care about that. Um, we have 10 questions to go. This is current affairs. The theme of this is political parties and their leaders. Okay, round of applause. For the people that got this wrong, I highly recommend you go to the website, go to the current affairs section and do the quiz that focuses on Denmark's political parties and their leaders, okay? Also make a list on a piece of paper, all the political parties in parliament, who is leading them, when they were formed. All right, and also if you can find out when they were voted into parliament for the first time. All right, um, next one. Static top five. Static top five. 19 players reached an answer streak of four. Wow! Great job. Okay. Right, so Caroline Wozniacki came out of retirement and she played again in the US Open this year. This covers um, basically sports, Danish sports on the world stage. There was a question similar to this, um, I think in November 2022, if I'm not mistaken, where, what's his name again? Christian Eriksen. 
So the question was, um, which footballer came back after having, you know, a heart attack and played for the Danish national team? So this is a similar question. All right. I can see uh, more than half of you got this wrong. So this is the weak spot. I will be creating um, a current affairs quiz or several current affairs quizzes. I'll be putting that up on the website. So keep an eye out there. Next one. Okay, so Maria fell out again. DA is now in. I think DA is in top 20, if I'm not mistaken. Trubs is the highest climber up four places. Excellent. Next one. All right, so you guys have been paying attention to the news. This has been a major thing. Well, this was a major thing in August where um, I can't remember who someone was burning. Some guy in Sweden burned the Quran and there was this huge uproar in the Islamic nations. And um, that caused Denmark to uh, basically change the law. And now it's illegal to burn um, any kind of holy scripture. So the Bible, the Quran, or the Baga, the, the Hindu scriptures as well. I can't remember what they're called. But any religious scripture, you can't burn them in public. And um, if you do, you could, it's punishable two years in jail. Next one. DA is out. Jimmy is in at the last minute. Jay is back in the game three in a row. Great job. Oh, my. He's on fire. Bhagavad Gita. Thank you. Jagan, thank you. All right. Next one. So the theme of this is official visits by the head of state or the prime minister to countries and from other heads of states and prime ministers to Denmark. So in June, uh, Matthew Fredrickson flew to the US to visit Joe Biden to talk about uh, a whole bunch of things. I can't remember exactly what they were talking about, but it was probably something. Yes, NATO. So the war in Ukraine. Okay. Um, this is also a weak spot, but this is current affairs. On to the next one. Jimmy moving up the ranks, DA moving up the ranks as well. Can't remember who was at number four that fell out. Uh, four players just hit an answer streak of seven. Excellent. This is the last um, current affairs question. So this focuses on the government. There is a quiz already on the website for this. Right, so for the people that didn't get this right, I can tell you, I haven't been practicing these quizzes, but basically you find the quiz, they go and practice. Make a list of basically all the ministers, the prime minister and her ministers, okay? There could be a question about any one of them. All right, so at the moment we have Trina number one, Ceci number two, Jimmy three, Lilia four, Dracula five. Um, all of these names except Jimmy are familiar to me. Well done, Jimmy, round of applause to you, man. Um, PPP is the highest climber up three places. Excellent. Jimmy is now on the podium at number three. Dracula came back into the top five. We have five questions to go. And um, those are Danish values. Wow. wow! Oh! Man, this is good. 
good. I, I wasn't expecting this. But you've seen this before, so hey. And it's an easy question, so round of applause, man. Perfect score. All right, Jimmy. An answer streak with 21 correct answers in a row. Wow! Oh my! He's on fire! Four questions to go. And we're done with this. Hopefully you all get this right as well. Seven people got this wrong. So the question is about, um, according to Danish law, is it required that meat served in daycare centers are slaughtered according to some kind of um, religious ritual? And the answer is no. Okay. Um, there is a video that is fully focused on Danish values. It's on the YouTube let me just quickly show you. Um, so youtube.com, uh, nearly Danish, search for nearly Danish TV. Click there. And if you go to videos, it's actually the most popular video here. So these two videos, watch them because I go, I, I go in deep detail talking about, you know, how to approach the questions. All right, we're moving on. Next one. Jimmy has done it again. Oh my! He's on fire! Round of applause. Man. You know this, you've seen it before. All right, round of applause to you guys. this Jimmy guy? Wow. Wow! Oh my! He's on fire! Steadily working his way up. Now he's on the podium at number three and has, has an answer streak of 23. Great job. Great job. Two questions to go. Yes, so most, so most, basically all of these questions are very obvious questions, okay? They're not difficult at all. Um, just that sometimes the, the Danish that's used in some of them can be a bit confusing. If your Danish is not very good. Um, okay, only one person got this wrong round of applause. Uh, Hopefully you all get it right this time so I can give you guys uh, an explosion. But let's see. At the moment we have Trey and Sassy, Jimmy, Lydia, and Dracula. F.E. is making a comeback with three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! Last one.
The answer is yes. So you can be sentenced to life imprisonment if you join an organization that fights against the Danish state with some kind of weapons, right? Um, this is the last question. I know this was a this was a tough session, um, but all the questions you failed will show up on your profile um, on the website. And if you'd like to gather some more points to just for the fun of it, to gather more points to rise up the ranks, stay for the next Kahoot. Let's have a look at the podium. Well done, everyone. We have Jimmy at number three, Desi at number two, and of course, Trayon at number one. And we have uh, Olivia at number four and Dracula at number five. NewlyDanish.com